Guys, 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 quick interruption. We have merch for sale. It is a one time only open. Basically the store is open from now until Thanksgiving. Here's your chance. You gotta get quarter zips, hats, hats, sweatshirt, beanies, all sorts of things, guys. Well, all with the Hartson Family Farms logo. The store will be open until Thanksgiving. You guys will receive all the merchandise by Christmas. So go ahead, go, 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 go take a look. It's only limited time only, go. Well guys, I am out equipment shopping. They are looking for a new piece of tillage equipment. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to basically get a little bit more productive, be a little bit more friendlier in the hills and try to uh, you know, get our primary tillage work done without chiseling. So in the hills, we typically have been, if we're gonna go corn on corn, we primary till, till secondary till. So we chisel, basically that means stir the top eight inches of dirt up and mix it all in, which is great if you have manure and stuff like that. But when we are got our hill ground and our rotable ground, it just, it doesn't work well it uh it it's it's too slow and it creates us more susceptible to erosion so what we we're looking at doing is we tried a little bit last year i'll kind of explain a little bit more when i'm not out on an equipment yard but what we tried last year was we tried vertical till as a primary tillage what i mean by primary tillage is that is basically what we do for the first tillage after our corn crop so if we're gonna go corn on corn we like to do primary secondary tillage work it in the fall get those stocks break down turn stuff around and then in the spring, level it out. So we're looking at vertical tillage. So there is a case two, 332 tandem over there. Got a bunch of great planes. We got a coon. There's a couple real discs, McFarland's around. There's quite a bit of vertical tills that are around here. So I uh, just actually stumbled across this place, uh, heading up to, uh, to where I'm working at. And uh, I think we might be, uh, we're pretty excited. We might be looking at something of these. So let's go ahead and look around. So right now I'm looking at this Turbo Max, this Great Plains Turbo Max. I would love for you guys' opinion on it. So it looks like it's got adjustable gang angle, which is what I want. And I guess I first should say a vertical till is kind of like a disc. So it has disc gangs everywhere, but it's meant to be run at a higher speed. It's meant to do a lot more vertical tillage. It doesn't throw material like a disc. It's meant to be high speed and it's just gonna chop stuff up, bury residue in some cases and whatnot. That's what we want. We want a primary tillage to basically break up corn stalks and be able to manage them and help them break down over winter. So we have this uh, Great Plains right here. I really want something that has adjustable gang angles. This Great Plains does. So it has six degrees of gang angle. Gang angle is basically, you know, if we're running straight with the rows, a vertical till at zero degrees is literally just chopping. That's all it's doing. And as soon as you twist it, it throws a little bit more dirt. So I would like some adjustable gang angles. That way in the fall, we can turn some more dirt, really chew and mix in those stocks. But in the spring, if we ever want to use this to level ground, just make it zero degrees or two degrees, just to level that ground. That's, that's what I would be hoping for, but we'll see. So we're looking at this at Turbo Max, and I really got my eye on that coon over there as well. So I'm just looking around, looking for cracks in the frame. I don't have a tape measure with me, but I have something that measures 19 inches at a little six inch scale. And this case is like 15 and a half inches. So I'm just measuring displays, measuring, uh, taking a look at bearings, taking a look at frames, just kind of looking at all that because uh, I have a feeling we might be back down here again. So let's keep looking. And I'm around here looking at this Kuhn Krauss 2014 30 foot vertical till. So it has adjustable gang angles, one to five degrees, but they're manual adjust. I don't think that's a big deal breaker. I'm just going around looking at welds. All the welds look pretty good. I mean, it's a 10 year old model. So the paint's not the greatest in spots, but it's not too bad, actually. Frame looks good. I'm not seeing a whole lot. Blades are 21 inches, which is pretty good, I think. I like this Coon because, you, well, you can kind of see, look how much farther the back gangs are, are equivalent. Look how much farther forward these front gangs are. I do like having a wider stance. I just feel like it'll help it ride, especially the faster you go. So I'm gonna keep looking at some welds, spin all the bearings, make sure they all look good. So I really like the looks of this accelerator. It looks pretty good. I think there's one more VT I wanted to take a look at. But for the most part, I think it's gonna be between this Coon Krause and that Great Plains over there. But mainly, like I said, looking at VTs, haven't really found a lot of used ones. That's that's the problem is, you know, we can look at a McFarland real disc, but those things are running 90 grand you, or new. And that's not even what we want. We want an Insight, which is a McFarland basically similar to this. And that's like 120, 130, a little bit much. So something more 50,000 is more in the price range, that's for sure. But yeah, I don't really see a whole lot wrong with this uh, Great Plains or this Coon. Didn't see any cracked welds. I saw one cracked weld on the uh, on the Great Plains, but this 
Skin Krause looks like it's built pretty heavy. I like this. So anyway, any thoughts down below? We're going to be looking. We'll see what we do. Well, that auger just got moved not too long ago, I should say. Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. It's a little damp Wednesday afternoon, shortly afternoon. I'm going up to the farm because we are full. We need to move some corn. Like, we are full full. We have 100,000 bushel of storage in our bins, and we have no place for dry corn to go, or wet corn to go. The boys have been pushing hard. We got the Andrew farm just about done. Five acres left is all we got. So hopefully we get that done and get the combine moved home at minimum. At maximum, I'd like to move it to Zymets and finish up there. We shall see. But I'm getting up to the farm, and we're going to see where I can help. <laughs> Remember I said that they just moved the auger home? I mean they're moving the auger home, like, literally right now. Like, I'm going to pass them here shortly. What are the odds? That is funny. Lower down. Yeah, there's 7088. Bet Pat's driving it. That well, looks like Curtis, actually. No, I'm just kidding. That's Pat. I'm just kidding. That was Curtis. Neighbors are getting their corn out. I'm guessing somebody is custom farming this because I'm pretty sure the dairy here does not have a John Deere 12 row combine. Darren's way up top. So we are completely full, as I've mentioned before. So we gotta start transferring corn. The boys are getting the auger set up. We're gonna transfer 7,000 bushels into our shiver bin. I'm gonna take a load of corn out to Cedar Rapids and sell some grain out there. And then Nathan, Darren, and Pat are gonna take a truck and stuff up and go bring everything, finish up at Andrew. We have five acres left there. So we're gonna finish that up and bring everything home. And yeah, it's just gonna be a day of moving stuff around. Empty out about 200, 300 bushel. Oh, and of course, uh, we stack stuff in the shed very tight, which is nice, but not so nice because I, when you're getting back to stuff, it's impossible. Next to impossible. So this truck's three quarters full of white corn. You're gonna dump most of it off and put dry corn on. There we are. Two miles going. We'll back this thing out of here. Our drive over. This is what we're going to use to transfer corn over next door. We'll get this thing set up today too. Good enough. Now let's see if I can pull that semi out. Good enough. Now let's see if I can pull this semi out without hitting anything. Hope I can. We'll find out. Fill the truck up. Boys are fixing the auger and changing oil on the feed wagon tractor. We are full. So I got a low tire on this right side. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, fill it up. So this is our shiver bin, it's empty. We're gonna fill it up, it's about 7,000 bushels. And Nathan's going to uh, pull this thing in here. <laughs> Trying to get this LP tank in here to heat the shop. We don't know what we're doing. Nope. It's a contraption. Loader tractor, skid loader, skid loader. We'll get her in there though. And we'll make a room for a surprise. You'll see at some point. Anyway guys, so I'm gonna head out to Cedar Rapids. It's a uh, little bit of a haul, so I gotta get going. They close at five and it's already 2.30, so. Yeah, we gotta go. So, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys when we get out there. Neighbors are getting their corn out. Gotta be somebody custom. But I'm not sure. Let's see what's on the trucks. Yep. Neighbor's out doing some tillage. I think he finished up his harvest. Chiseling up. Still working on this bridge for a couple months. But only stoplight ever to be in the town of Charlotte. Starting to sprinkle a little bit on me. Oof. Just supposed to be off and on. I didn't think it was supposed to rain till tonight, but the next couple days gonna be off and on rain. Hey, there's 
an X9. It's the closest X9 I've ever seen to my personal farm. I know a thing or two about those things. It's greens or who's this running it? Oh, it's gotta be Campbell. X9 1000. A new deer dealership is coming along. They're merging two, uh, two dealerships together, or two deer dealers together. Man, that's huge. Yay, rain. Love rainy day truck. Train roll in the cold. Wow. That second engine is sending it. Here we go, we got a 9RX, looks like inline ripping. It's a 9RX with tracks spaced out to 120 inches, so they're wide tracks. Doing some deep, hip, deep ripping. Nice. That was a first. That sheriff was blowing up on me and I couldn't see him. Just getting into town. Made it. Millennial tarp activated. Pull up and enter our info. Getting probed, they're getting their sample. Now wait for the green light. And we leave. There we are. Legal load right now in the state of Iowa. I get 12%, so 90,000. There's their corn pile. They got one pile filled. And yeah, they put those piles up. This place takes a lot of corn in when they have too many trucks coming in, not enough in the two places to dump. They dump in the piles. Dang drive through right now. Pull in, dump my grain. Dumping my suspension so I don't blow any airbags. Start closing, load dumped. Let's roll. Moving some trains around. And here's the scale to, to get our tear weight. I'm gonna swing in here. I've never been here before. It's brand new. Brand new location. So this is the manufacturer that makes the uh, trailers that we have. Well, we have two of them. Pull in and uh, see if they have some parts for us. Huh. Taking a semi to go, uh, got parts. I like it. Go into the showroom and see if we can get some bearings. Have my parts. So these are the bearings that are actually on the uh, hoppers. So basically when I crank, crank the traps, it has to turn on these bearings. And the ones that are exposed to the elements, mainly the ones that you can see right there, right right here they uh no spin at all so got the new ones also got a knuckle that basically goes from the angled angled crankshaft that i crank on to the actual trap itself so got that stuff and now we can head back let's go I don't know about you guys, but I, I just can't get behind the black green card book. This, I like the magic better. There's a John Deere floater putting on some line. Here's where they're loading. And here's where they're loading. Nice. Pretty cool. There's a deer tractor uh, putting on some fertilizer. Well, actually filling up for some fertilizer from some fertilizer. That'd be a pretty slick setup to have. I'd love to have that someday. Rolling. It's getting dark on me fast. I'm probably gonna get home right as I lose all my light. Got about another 40 minutes left. Bye, Darren. Just made it back. Just grab these parts and head in. We're going to go ahead and uh, put some of those parts on for uh, on this trailer that I just picked up. So hopefully it'll be better. Hopefully. Oh, 
And then I think we're gonna call it a night. All the guys are taking her easy tonight. Oh, swapping the stuff around. Well, good news and bad news. Good news is, we made it better. Bad news is, didn't fix it. Partially, I think we gotta replace all of them. So, uh, we're gonna call her good for the night. No moving corn for me, I wish there was, but. So we're gonna go drive this over here and park it. Good enough. Good enough. Kinda spooky at night. We will get this thing back and going here, hopefully this weekend. Get the hood back on, that's the goal. Sassy! What are you doing, Sassy? What? Sassy. She doesn't like you guys. It's okay, we don't like her. Him. Whatever it is. Well, I'm gonna be turning her in for the night. Ordered my wife some pizza to surprise her. About 7.45, she'll be home early. Earlier than normal, I should say. Should be home by 8.45. That'll give me a little bit of time to edit some videos and spend a little time with her. We got uh, we watched Dancing with the Stars. I don't know, what couple shows do you guys watch? That's what we watch. Right, wrong, or indifferent. I think it's more, I mean more indifferent. It's not bad, I think it's kind of fun. So anyway, I'm gonna take off for the night. Before I go, guys, I just wanna be, give everyone a reminder that we are selling merchandise. It'll be in the link down in the description. We got hats. T-shirts, sweatshirts, quarter zips, long sleeve, crew necks. We got all sorts of things, guys. And my personal favorite is the trapper hat. So like the uh, the little Canadian wind muff hat. Yeah, that's my personal favorite. So gonna wanna take a look, guys. It is only there for a limited time. We are only doing a one-time order. And it's basically, you will place your order. You will get them. We will place the order. We will close it around Thanksgiving. And then you will be getting everything before the week before Christmas, guaranteed. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. Gonna wanna take a look at that. But, and I appreciate everyone that who does. So thank you guys so much. Take care, take it easy, stay safe, and as always guys, ta-ta for now.